I had a whole day where I could just make journals and I ended up making six completely different journals throughout it. So let me talk you through it. This first one is an old children's book that some of the pages were missing. It was colored on and I gutted it and I did add some of the pages back in. And this paper is wrapping paper from Amazon. So there are lots of opportunities to use the paper instead of just putting into the trash. So find a place where you can put it. All of these are eclectic. Here's some wallpaper. And I, I've been using an old calendar in there too from 19 or from 2019, I think. So there are lots of opportunities to reuse, repurpose these supplies so they're not going into the trash. And this is an envelope. This is an unused envelope. And I covered it with some paper that had been used as my um, background paper when I painted so I didn't get it all over my desk. And I just used that as the cover. I sewed it on there and I added lots of things that were similar sizes. So I picked some smaller items and I love this size. It's like great for carrying. And there you have it. And the next one is mostly fabric. And sometimes I just sew fabrics together because it's very meditative for me. It's relaxing, but it's not ever gonna become something. So what I do is I take these fabrics and I have a separate place for them and I will use them in junk journals. And this tie was actually an old sheet and I had cut it so I didn't even have to sew that, like that was already done for me. I had some lace and some old calendars. There's another sheet and I used, um, I think I used a bag for this to, to make the fabric cover a little bit sturdier. And look at these calendars, this old art from the Middle East. It's so beautiful. There's some book pages and there are some music notes. This is a birthday card and it looks like it's from maybe the 70s. And I just, I love these eclectic ones. And I sewed together this little pocket from scraps and, and book pages. And this was one of those charts on, um, testing your blood type and I had coffee dyed that so you can see this one has lots of things on there there's some stamping and these old calendars have really beautiful images and you can't really do anything with them so this is another one and I made this out of um, some card paper and I think I used decoupage with toilet paper and there's some string on there and it's really, really hard. And this is a hard cover that started off soft and I decoupaged it. It has some shells glued on it too. You can see that calendar again. There's an old book page. And this is from um, the Reader's Digest. They have really beautiful images. So if you find one that can't be read anymore, turn it into a junk journal because you already have these really great images in there. There's some Monopoly money that I sewed on. That's It's got a fabric backing on it. And usually my journals have a mix of everything, like whatever I find laying around, um, especially old pieces of fabric that I'm not gonna do anything with. I will find ways to stick it on here. Here's an example. There's a little band, a little tuck spot, and this is paper, a paper tuck spot. So your journals can be as eclectic as you want them. You don't really have to spend a lot of money. Everybody's got so much stuff in their house. You may as well put it to use somewhere. So the next journal is a soft cover and it has some packaging in there like a chip wrapper or so, like a chip bag or something. And so it's got this really great sound when it's used. And this one is mostly old learning material from my child. And these are great for painting on. These papers are nice and sturdy. And there's a, an old calendar from her, a Lisa Frank one. But this paper is great for, for painting, collaging. This is what I can do with these kinds of papers and they're just a great way to use up this and now this one i ironed it and 
the fabric was synthetic so it put a hole in there so I just ended up sewing a little repair spot on there and I love that because I think that these eclectic ones tell a story and reusing repurposing repairing and this one is an old chip bag that somebody gave me in a swap I've never even seen this brand so I cut off the edges so I have pockets and I used envelopes and I just folded them in half and I actually sewed them on to the chip bag so this one also has a really great sound when it's being used so get out there be creative use your stuff